-hmm. the after party, what did he say his reason was? Well, I learned a lot of things about her. And, and Keisha was like, well, what'd you learn? Mm -hmm. Well, look, she's a party girl. Mm -hmm. She likes one night stands. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's never been in a relationship. So all these things in my head, I'm like, that's what it is. But, okay. Can we blame him? We saw the bachelorette party. He hasn't seen that yet. If you got a, a shot of the women at the bachelorette party and they said, one of these is your wife, the first thing you would go is, it better not be her. And then she comes walking down the aisle. I get it. But you signed up for Married at First Sight. This is who you got coming down the aisle. So it is what it is. Now, the thing is, you got to be able to work through that. But why not just tell her, hey, can I be honest with you about something? Remember when you told me at the honeymoon that, yeah, I like one night stands and I like to drink. How do you work past I like one night stands? How, how there's, there... I'm not saying work past it, but just say, hey, this is what's bothering me mm -hmm. is this. I'm not saying that we can work through it, but I'm just telling you why I shut down this. Look, for the for the three guys that are in here, <laughs> a woman says she likes one night stands. Are you still going to stay with her? Are you going to be like, oh, 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 oh say, well, I want to be, you getting married to somebody like this at this point. Yeah, you're going to back yep. away. Married at well. first sight. <laughs> married at first sight. You can't compare the, would you get married to somebody like this? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't get married at first sight. Yeah. But now let's, let's, let's play your game, right? Since you mm -hmm. don't like hypotheticals, but I'll play your hypothetical game. <laughs> if I met someone and they told me, Hey, well, just, so you've been single for a while. Yeah. I've had a lot of one night stands here and there. We just haven't found anybody I want to be in a relationship with. Okay. Because you know what? I had a lot of one night stands too, back mm -hmm. in the day when okay. I was younger in my twenties, mm -hmm. but then eventually my yeah, 30s, but hers, hers were just I a couple of weeks that. ago. <laughs> it's two months ago, but I but I grew out of that as I got into my late thirties. But in my twenties, I did. When I was a kid, I put ketchup on my eggs. Thought it was great. I don't do that anymore. And That's so great. that was a but, decade or two ago. This was right. a month or but, two ago for her. But for him, if your issue is the fact that she's had a lot of one night stands, mm -hmm. tell her that. Mm -hmm. Tell her this is why I shut down. But she's thinking like I'm not attractive. I'm not all this. She knows she's had one night stands, and I'm sure mm -hmm. she'd be like, you know what? I can see why you'd have some reservations about that. <laughs> and I get it. I'm not saying that everybody should just be like, uh, oh, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I disagree with the people in the comments that might call her gross or whatever. Some people do that. Some people do some wild sex stuff. Some people don't, mm -hmm. but I don't judge them for it. But if you can't handle it, tell her that. Well, you know, Crystal K says uh, she doesn't like one night stands. She never gets a call back. <laughs> yeah, maybe, he, but hey, there's a difference. If, if she says she likes them, then that means that she likes them. Not but, that, oh, I just, I've had a bunch of one night stands. But I never heard her say, mm -hmm. I like one night stands. Mm -hmm. Brennan said that. I didn't hear Emily say, well, I like one night stands. Dina has a great point here. And Dina, you may be onto something. Had she been Pam Anderson in her younger years? Stop right there. She's not. But had she been? No matter what you say after that, yes. <laughs> Brennan would have been fine. And he's right. He would have been fine with the one night stands. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Dina. Yeah. Because <laughs> Pam Anderson was, was that chick back in the day. You're right. Had she been that, he would have been like, right. But had, had she, but at least you grew out of it last week. <laughs> but for, it's, it's for Brennan, I think it's because here's the deal. I think men, anybody can date somebody who mm -hmm. maybe has lived a little bit more of a promiscuous lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But you got to be the right person that can handle it. And so Brennan's the kind of dude that, hey, too many other people in my town that know you, mm -hmm. I'm possibly going to run into. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to have that on my conscience. Right? Uh, Bodine is like, he said earlier, I'm out. He said, not wife and a serial one night stand babe. Yes. Nobody wants In the wants traditional that. world, yes. Oh, my but God. But you signed up for Married at First Sight. Oh, my God. By the so, way, as far as, far as the... Um, the so gross comment, Kitty's like, hey, I was talking about the eggs and ketchup, you nasty bastard. <laughs> she left that extra part off. I, I just figured I'd add it because I know that, you just, that's what she's meant. You just put a little something, something on the end like Nick I put, Cannon? I put a little seasoning on it. <laughs> Toya says, one night stands in clubbing can stop, but Brennan acts like he's not physically attracted to her. And I, high vibe. This is a great point. No callbacks equal poor performer. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just like Black Tornado says, she's had them. She's not good at them. Yeah, not everybody, not everybody who does a lot means they're good at it. 